All right, welcome everyone. We are going to get to know the training team's guide program today. And this is gonna be an informal Q&A with two folks who've been working on the training team uh, with the guide program for a while. And we're gonna do a little round of intros. Um, people can ask questions in the chat and also you can unmute to ask questions. I'm gonna ask you to, um, you know, ask your questions anytime, or you can also wait till we've gone through the Q&A. Um, I've allowed 45 minutes for this, so we're not gonna run the full hour unless we have like a ton of questions, but I think 45 minutes should be enough. So I'll introduce myself and then I'm gonna ask my two guests to introduce themselves. So my name is Catherine Presner and I'm in Montreal, Canada. I've been working with WordPress since 2008 and I was a web developer before that working on other platforms. And I've been uh, doing tech support um, with Automatic since 2012. And now I'm working um, as a sponsored contributor with the training team to help support folks uh, who are contributing their time to the training team's efforts. So that's me. And when I'm not working with WordPress, I love hiking and I love collecting vintage Pyrex mixing bowls, a little bit of an obscure hobby. And I love, um, I love animals. I have a cat who is resting right there while we talk. So Sumit, why don't you introduce yourself next? Hello, everyone. Uh, myself, Sumit Singh, and I am working since 2013 to start a journey with the PHP and then continue. I started to work with the WordPress. And uh, right now I am working as a training team guy, as a guide to uh, how to start the contribution for the new contributors. And I'm still doing contribution in the core documentation and many other projects. I'm very happy to doing these things. And because I am working with WordPress and I'm always happy to do something for the WordPress. So if you have any question about the training, how to start the contribution and guide program, feel free to message me on the chat. All right, thank you, Sumit. How about Mohibul? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mohibul Haq. I am a WordPress developer and WordPress uh, open source contributor to the training team. I am uh, working in WordPress uh, since 2014. As a WordPress developer, I started my career, but I did not continue uh, that time. I think uh, I, I was uh, just doing customization and after a few years, I uh, realized that uh, I can be developer and I start uh, learning development and I, I become WordPress developer and now working as full-time WordPress developer for a company. So after that, last, uh, last year, I, I uh, discovered the training team and here I I started a regular contribution and as a reward, I become a, a faculty member of training team and uh, working as a guide, also uh, working as a mentor in wide mentorship program. So, so many things uh, I am doing here uh, in la from last few, uh, last year and uh, I am really excited to join this event as well. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks awesome. Kathleen. <laughs> Thank you both. Thank you both. All right, so we'll start the, the, uh, this question and answer, and I'm going to sort of rotate the questions between you two. So um, let's start with uh, Muhibul. Could okay. you give me a little, a little overview of what the training team is for anyone who's here who might not be familiar and where does the training okay. team fit into the WordPress.org project? Okay, uh, we all know the uh, training team is a project of WordPress, uh, this project, Make WordPress Project. And in Learn WordPress, uh, we do many things like we do content uh, creation, uh, we uh, make lessons, we make courses and uh, events like this kind of online workshop. So uh, here we do uh, many things for educational purpose. Most of the content of our uh, us is educational content and uh, here, uh, most of the uh, people participate are contributors. Okay, so uh, like me and Shumit, all of them, uh, like uh, today joined more people. So all of them are contributors and few people uh, are uh, sponsored as well. But training team uh, focuses on uh, contribution based work. And most of the time we do, uh, we help uh, training team to 
uh, advancement of its and i uh, when i joined in training team uh, i was uh, so much unconscious what uh, that training team and why uh, what i will do here and after uh, the passes of time i realized uh, this is a really a great uh, source of uh, knowledge and uh, education for uh, me i started uh, learning from here so many things i learned from here and also uh, now i am uh, helping more people to learn uh, from training team that's it okay so just to step back for a bit and see the big picture you know the training team the goal of the training team is to help people learn wordpress right, right so right, help people yeah. learn how to use wordpress so for those who don't know there's a site which is learn.wordpress.org and it has yeah. all kinds of materials from courses to um, tutorials to uh, it's the hub for our online workshops, which is what we're doing here. And so the training team helps to create all these materials and run yeah. this program, right? Um, so that's one thing I want to make sure people are aware of because some folks might not be. Um, so what maybe so neat, maybe you could answer just very briefly, like what kind of people is the training team a good fit for? So for example, like the design team is good if you have design skills, the core team generally is for you know, people with advanced development skills. Who's a good fit for the training team? I think the training team is typically the good fit for the individual who enjoy the helping other people. Okay, this is the, and there you know, grow the, his uh, skill also grow the, you know, new contributor to grow the, their skill and you know, like saying there should be a strong understanding the project matter, subject matters, what is the, you know, training team ability to cover the knowledge effectively judge with the audience, you know, and additionally adopt the tailored training approach, the different learning style or material available on the training, learn project, learn.wordpress.project site. And this is, you know, a passion of continue learn and a stay update to industry with the learn WordPress project. So, you know, this is the practice. If you can continue up to date and provide the, you know, like the, if you, I have experience in 10 years and, you know, if I can share the knowledge, then of course, if someone asks question, if I don't know, then I can, you know, ask a skill of the, my skill and anybody can, you know, do the training team, you know, not any technical or graphic, anybody can, you know, who, connected with the technical department, like the SEO guys, content guy, designer, developer, and you can do the, you know, training, connect the training team with that, contribute, like, you know, learn the, create the session, learn the session, <laughs> translate, reviewer, and lots of things doing on the learn WordPress. So any the, anybody can do the training team and all of kind of people can fit to train. This is the, you know, main, you know, if you have a started WordPress journey, this is the main project for the WordPress. So that's great to know. I mean, so basically if you're coming into WordPress and you don't necessarily have a specialty in one area, you don't have to have any particular type of background, there's a place for you in the training team. You can still help and there's all kinds of things you can do to help out, yes. right? People, right. you know, people feel free to, you know, ask any time of the, our community training team. I know always lost of guys, Happy to help with the, any of the one yeah. on this this particular project, learn WordPress.org. It's a very welcoming team, I think you're getting. Yes, it, you know? yes, yes. Yeah. And very easy, very easy to, you know, understand this project. Also. Yeah. So I think one of the things that makes the training team welcoming and a good place for people to get started on the WordPress project is this guide program that we're going to talk about more. Um, so Muhibul, maybe could you tell us why was the, the guide program created and what are the goals of that program? Okay, the guide program is specially created for a new contributor and uh, experienced contributor to uh, link them and uh, help new contributors to uh, get help from experienced one. So when uh, I was I joined a training team, uh, I was so confused from where to start and what to do. Uh, why I am doing uh, a specific thing and uh, what will be the impact of it. So uh, understanding all the uh, things, uh, if someone join in guide program, they will get answer from an experienced uh, from an experienced contributor. 
so it helps them to uh, get onboarded properly and in a, a structured way i think so a guide program is created uh, for and uh, people who is really interested to join uh, in training team for long term like a uh, few people join and uh, after a few days they uh, lost their interest so if uh, someone is interested in uh, working in training team for long run uh, they must join that guide program and it will help them understanding the workflow of guide program and uh, all uh, answers they can get from their mentor as well so i think this is the purpose of uh, guide program initially so i popped the link in the chat which is the handbook page for the guide program so if people want right. to dive in and read a little bit more they can take a peek and basically just to give a few more you know a few more pieces of information you know the guide program matches a new contributor someone who wants to get involved with a guide a person who's more experienced on the training team and they work together either one-on-one -on -one or with a little group, if there are other new contributors starting this at the same time, uh, they work one-on-one -on -one for about a month to walk this new person, new contributor through the process of starting to contribute. And like you said, it's an, it's an onboarding process. Um, yeah. we, don't, we don't officially call the guide a mentor, but that is the kind of role that the person plays. It's a, it's a mentor. Um, and while officially the program is a month, I'm sure you have experiences where you've continued to be a resource person for that that uh, that contributor as time goes by. So maybe Sumit, do you want to tell me a little bit about your experience being the guide? What's it, what's it been like for you? Sorry, sorry, repeat again, please. Tell me a little bit about your experience being a guide. Have you enjoyed it? How, how what is it? What has it been like for you? Okay, so you know, uh, I'm always happy to help any of the you know new contribution because I'm working WordPress, what I am doing right now and what I have due to WordPress, all the credit. So I am, you know, I started, you know, first I have joined 2015 as a WordCamp and I started the contribution and same day I have created the core team ticket and get the probe and I'm very happy that time because I get the wages first time for the core, you know, then I decide to increase me, you know, I need to do something more and get the more contribution and help the people. Then I started to contribution, join the training team. Okay. And then I have attend the weekly meeting on the Slack and also Zoom meeting. Okay. And then I have joined the program meeting and I've learned lots of things, how to recap the meeting, how to, you know, help the people, how, what I, how can understand the process about the how to you know create the tutorial and everything how can contribute to everything then after one to after three to four months i apply the faculty and i have accepted as a guide program and then you know like you, christy and other also you know lots of the head department of the guys providing to you know provide the training one-to-one -one training in the program programming time and you know lost of guys directly connect with me about the how to start the contribution and what I have learned from the previous faculty, I am same things sharing with him and he very happy to get the wages and lots of guys already know many join right now on the DC event. Many of the new contributors also happy with the me. I am right now providing the contribution and this is the guide program working. You know, what you have learned, just you need to share with the new contributor. So if, if folks aren't familiar with the badges that, that you mentioned, um, everybody on wordpress.org has a profile page, which is yeah. a page which you can fill out some of the information yourself. You can put your bio, a link to your website, things like that. But other things are um, earned, let's say, based on your experience. And badges are little icons that are added to your profile when you've completed certain tasks or a certain level of achievement in a certain wordpress.org team so you're talking about you know collecting those badges it's it's a nice recognition of contributions when you get a badge on your on your on your profile so the training team has badges for uh, different types of contribution um, and muhabu maybe tell me a little bit what has your experience been like being a guide um, what, what has it been like for you to be a guide okay 
so my experience uh, is also amazing uh, people work for money and recognition so uh, here there is no money but there is a good uh, recognition and uh, the res uh, relation is respective and that's why i feel really uh, proud because uh, when i join as a guide uh, people uh, do a very warm welcome and uh, i really like uh, communicating with new people and uh, help them so uh, when i joined in guide program uh, i uh, met so many new people and all of them are from many different countries and uh, that is a good uh, thing for me because uh, my networking is spreading uh, to all other countries and uh, from different people uh, i learned a lot of things my networking is building strong and that's why i am enjoying the uh, task as guide so uh, being guide is really interesting and uh, at the same time you can uh, learn also not only uh, as i as a mentor i am just teaching not like that i am also learning from many different people like uh, uh, what uh, i am i don't know everything so what I realized, I, I, my skill is uh, gradually improving also. So my experience is also good. That's a really good point. Sometimes folks think that teaching or guiding or mentoring is a one-way process where you are giving information to someone else. But I think that's a really excellent point that when we play these roles, we can learn a lot from the people that we are working with as well. So it's a two-way thing a lot of the time. So that's a really, really good point. So a couple of questions I was wondering about is um, what kind of time commitment is needed to be a guide? So is it, um, you know, once one hour a week, a couple of hours a week? I mentioned that it's usually a month long process for, for each person. Does, any, does either of you want to address that a little bit? Uh, this uh, depends on uh, your mentee, like uh, who joins and uh, the expertise. Sometimes some people join who is really expert or uh, really uh, catch anything when we deliver to them. Any resource I share, they can understand. But few mentees are uh, not like that. So uh, we need uh, spend more time to them. And uh, this is, uh, I think uh, this depends on uh, types of mentee. Uh, but uh, I think uh, three or four hour weekly is a, a good amount of time uh, for uh, a guide to uh, guide his mentee. So uh, sometimes I just share resources and just tell them to read or uh, ask me questions. Like uh, if you don't understand, like ask me. And that type of resource sharing do not take uh, two or three minutes. So uh, as I already bookmarked all of them, I already mentored uh, uh, 10 plus people. So I have all resources in my uh, bookmark list. So I just copy and just share with them. Most of the time they just uh, don't find the uh, correct resource. So uh, it uh, don't take so many times now because, uh, because it's all are now arranged here. Uh, but at the uh, beginning, uh, it took so many times like, uh, uh, 10 or more hours for me. Uh, I don't know uh, what time takes for Sumit. Do you want to add anything, Sumit, about your, your own experience? Uh, yeah, same thing, you know, the I but the ask me well, first time, you know, when I still am, you know, right now, currently also, you know, if I have not bookmark or everything, you know, I still sometime, you know, I'm asked to faculty member to, can you send me the how can do, like, you know, right recently I've created the WordCamp Europe, post and I don't know where I can create the thumbnail. Okay. So I ask, but you know, right now I, today I bookmark and may will ask, okay, right now for, you know, also I'm getting the, how to get the zoom account to you know, connect the, then right, may right. will ask, okay, go to the bookmark and get the details. So sometimes, right. you know, because WordPress is the very biggest things I know, and this is the, a small part of the training thing, but the, this, a small part looking, I am thinking of very big. Right. So, so this is this is be good practice to you know if you get any new things just bookmarks and or maybe you do you can note down from the your end. Mm. Mostly and, I'm you know what I'm doing I'm you know myself paste on the my Slack individually and book pin on the this link. This mm. is the best practice for the you know any of the new things from the Slack. So one thing I want to point out is that 
guides don't have to create all these resources from scratch. We have in the handbook links to share with your mentee or your new contributor, things like, you know, the, the uh, contributing to the training team slides that are already out there, uh, getting started guide, things like that. So you don't have to invent everything from scratch. But as you both pointed out, sometimes you might have a contributor who's interested in a particular area that is not your own expertise um, that you might need to ask for help with finding resources. And I think, you know, you would probably both agree that the training team is very uh, friendly and open to helping each other. So if someone has a need for a resource that you're not sure where it is in all mm -hmm. this documentation, you know, when you ask, there are people to, to help you find things. Um, so, yeah. I mean, 10 hours feels like a lot of time. Maybe maybe that's a lot on the high end, but as you both pointed out, you know, once you've done it more than once or twice, you, you'll have your own bookmarks all in one place so you can share them more easily. And it probably takes less and less time the more you yeah. as a guide. Um, what about personality-wise or um, traits in a person? Like what kind of person makes a good guide for, for example, I'm thinking like, I would imagine you need to be a patient person willing to take the time it needs with somebody to walk them through something. What are, what are some other qualities or personality traits that would make for a good guide, do you think? Uh, okay. commitment, commitment and reality, continue learning and subject matter expert like the pre like positive attitude also, you know, communication skill. Mm -hmm. So many of the continued learning is the very most you know, a skill, you know, to the communication skills. So, you know, if you know guide her, then I speak slowly, slowly and make sure what you are uh, speaking front guide, you know, understanding properly or not. Like, you know, we are continuing, you know, discussing. So, you know, like it makes sure all our attendee understanding what we are talking. Mm -hmm. Mubal, anything you'd like to add okay. to that? Uh, so I want to add something like uh, if you if you want to be a guide in training team, you just need good knowledge of training team, uh, uh, all the things and resources where you can find the resources for uh, to run uh, training team smoothly. You just need to know that. And this quality can make you uh, a good guide because uh, most of the people join the guide program or other uh, the thing uh, Slack channel, uh, they just ask for help with the resources. All the things uh, training team is already structured, and it it uh, it has uh, three uh, team reps who is really good and running this uh, channel really uh, smoothly. So uh, I, I I never found anything that is not created already. I we just need to uh, resource uh, collect that resource and just share with our uh, mentees. So. For being a good mentee, you just need to uh, keep knowledge about that resources, tools, and other uh, training materials. Uh, as uh, in training team, we just create uh, we create many uh, type of educational contents. So uh, we need knowledge about that, and if possible, uh, we need to participate on that specific section always. Because when uh, I I am not a content creator, I will not learn everything properly. Because when I created my first uh, a video for learn wordpress i learned so many things when i just created that one uh, because uh, we read uh, the resources so many times but this uh, don't uh, make any sense to us so for being a good guide we have to uh, participate on that uh, sections also and most uh, of the uh, important part is i think uh, participating in trading uh, meeting uh, every every uh, week we have a meeting so if uh, anyone wants to uh, become a good guide they need to uh, participate on that uh, meeting because here we discuss all the latest things and where uh, we need more effort or something so uh, we can learn the uh, main areas from here also great points thank you both i also want to mention that uh, typically, folks who are selected as guides should be contributing to the training team for at least six months consistently. So that's something to keep in mind if you are interested in becoming a guide, uh, but you haven't, you know, you're you're new to the team or you haven't 
uh, been contributing uh, as consistently as you'd like, that's what we're going to look for is uh, consistent contributions for about six months. Right. Right. Yes, yeah, so, you know, some guy, you know, contributed uh, one or two, you know, two, one or month or two months, then, you know, ask uh, personally, when I get the by chess, at mm -hmm. least, my, <laughs> you know, yeah. two patients, at least six months continue join, then you can join the contributor. No, they you know initially you join the one or two recap meeting and you need to get the wages. Yeah. Then you know most of guys will come the. All right. Most so, of the people come for wages, but I uh, want to add that if you do meaningful contribution, you will get wages automatically. Like. Of course, uh, of course. Yeah. Uh, when I joined, I also run for wages, <laughs> but uh, I tried so many things. Uh, why uh, I don't get wages? Uh, I whenever I uh, visit someone's profile and uh, get disappointed because I don't have that batch or uh, uh, what I have to do for that batch. But uh, with the time, uh, I saw uh, my batches uh, getting added uh, here uh, automatically. I don't need to uh, pressurize to uh, get add on my profile. Okay. Just, just you know, my most of uh, WordPress project, you know, signing the batches automatically just right, few right. like the WPTV and few other the support like this you know manually right now but most of you know batches automatically like the core team training team training team is the very best you know if you go continue the six month automatically work and core team also you get the probe automatically get the translator all of the you know very smoothly so I don't think you know you just need to ask the batches about this but you know most of you know I, I but my experience most of you know you just come to the training team and translate translated few string go to the batches then go down right right yeah thanks both all right welcome back for part two so I was about to ask a movie bill from the point of view of someone who uh was a new contributor I know you weren't officially part of the guide program at that point because it hadn't been begun yet, but I understand you were informally guided by Ben Evans, who's currently one of the training team reps. And maybe could you share a little bit about what that experience was like on the other side? Okay, uh, so that time I just joined training team and it was uh, the, before joining the uh, Slack uh, in Word, Make WordPress, uh, I was not a Slack user even. so. Uh, everything uh, was happening to me was really confusing. So uh, I found Ben even really helpful. And I asked him so many silly questions at the beginning. And he was so patient and, uh, and answering everything to me. Uh, and he uh, said me, we are planning a guide program. And I can mention Courtney, Courtney P.K., uh, so uh, she was also helpful to me and they shared a lot of resources to me uh, to learn why, how I can participate on different uh, threads or different uh, areas of training team. And then uh, I was really for fortunate because uh, they guided me uh, how, I, how uh, I can become a contributor here. And uh, most of the people just leave after that, like uh, earning the batch. But I thought uh, uh, as they are really helpful, I, I am getting a proper guideline. So I can uh, do so many things from here, here. Like uh, I uh, firstly decided to become a content creator here. But uh, th that was not happening now because uh, I don't uh, get enough time for that. But Ben Evans... Uh, uh, helped me really uh, in uh, in this uh, area and after that after uh, I, I joined uh, in uh, slack channel uh, guide program uh, started after one month and i was a first mentee uh, of first batch and my mentor was uh, ganga kaple and he was also a good mentor for me so i think the experience was amazing for me great Thank you. I'm going to uh, jump ahead a little bit. I had a couple more questions, but um, I want to make yeah. sure we have time for questions from folks who are here. So if anybody has questions, feel free to either put it in the chat or unmute yourself or even turn off your video. I'm going to stop the focus mode, which means that uh, your video will be shared if you want to. So does anyone have any questions about the guide program or the training team as a whole, since we have to uh, couple of experienced folks here. Anyone have any questions? 
is anyone interested in applying to become a guide or a, um, a new contributor? I'm also going to put back in the chat the resources that I shared earlier because we don't have the chat back scroll anymore, but we have the handbook page, uh, which explains in detail some of the things we've been talking about here. Uh, <clears throat> A form to so basically if you're interested in becoming a guide or in becoming part of the guide program you can uh, click on this link go to the handbook page and we have a form you can fill out both to become a guide and to become a new contributor in the program any questions from anyone yeah if you have any questions just raise, raise the hand maybe emoji or if you are not yeah able. if you sure yeah. <laughs> And if folks are shy and don't want to unmute, you can type it in the chat and we can address it here. Otherwise, I'll just keep asking you both questions. We have five more minutes. Yeah. So I'll, I'll ask another question. Um, I was wondering if either of you have any success stories to share about people you've guided and if they've given you permission to use their name, you can you can give them recognition here. If not, you can sort of uh, tell the story as a as a more generic story without using their name. But any any success stories that you either of you want to share? Uh, uh, recently, you know, you can see the Jagid also join here, and you know, I have given the mentor. I was mentor for this guy, and you know, he's doing very well in the short term, and I you know. In two or three meeting, you know, he has started to recap the meeting notes for the training team. So going very well. And I think, you know, Jaggi, it will, I am thinking, you know, it will come become very soon the as a faculty because he's doing very well. <laughs> uh, so this is the recently my, you know, share the guy as a guide program with the Jaggi. So Jaggi, can you uh, speak anything about the training team? How is going with the training yeah. team, your experience? Thank you. Thank you, Sumit, uh, for the uh, one more thing uh, I need to share is uh, uh, first time uh, I, I have no any idea how to join the training team. Uh, I, how I need to like join this Slack channel, how I need to uh, a meeting to uh, meeting a not stacker. OK, so yeah, Sumit guide me a lot. So yeah, thank you, Sumit, for the uh, guidance and yeah i'm very happy to do the uh, continue to contribution in training team. Yeah. Great. Thanks. So, i can share a story about uh, prem theory i asked for his permission and he granted the permission so uh, he was a uh, man uh, guide uh, in uh, he was mentee in third uh, ment uh, guide uh, program uh, when I joined. So in third session, he joined as a uh, mentee and he, he was really uh, excited and a good uh, participant of guard, guide program. Uh, he is doing really great and he become a faculty member uh, last uh, week and he is doing really great. And besides uh, guide program, I do. Uh, I am a mentor of wide mentorship program from there, uh, I uh, I was a mentor for a Bengali uh, polyglots onboarding, but that was not my expertise. So uh, I uh, taught them how to participate in training uh, team and they are uh, doing really great. And a few people who uh, were not officially uh, joined uh, guide program, but uh, a few people from Gujarat, India, uh, like uh, they are doing Gujarati translation, I can and I mentioned them, uh, Roshan and Pooja. Uh, they did really great. And uh, these are my uh, success stories. I can feel proud about them. <laughs> That's it. Excellent. Really, I, I, I personally know about the Prem Tiwari. I first, you know, meet also. He also, you know, very good experience in WordPress. Almost, I think, seven to ten years plus experience but he don't know about the how to start the contribution i've right, also right. helped to start the contribution but you know may will guide more much other than the me because i'm also already you know right now guiding the seven to eight people so i'm fully accord because i'm doing also job so you know that's why you know so they're very good guys you know 
he also working 10 years ago but he don't know about the how to start the contribution but right now very good right yeah. it's not the matter how long you are working it's a different area so uh, open source contribution is something different from wordpress development so, uh, so people get confused here like uh, i am doing uh, web development for long year, uh, years but uh, I, I when i joined i uh, got confused and most of the people uh, feel same and uh, in uh, uh, in our uh, area like india uh, and bangladesh uh, we are not uh, that much uh, fluent in english like uh, uh, me uh, like i am uh, i can uh, understand everything when uh, it's in written form but in speaking i am not that much expert and sometimes uh, i am really a camera shy person and uh, when i in uh, i open my camera i uh, like uh, my uh, memorized thing I forget <laughs> so uh, that's why when uh, we join uh, in this area uh, our uh, expertise is not in that area in this area so uh, we make everything uh, confused and uh, we uh, just uh, don't know where to start so uh, and most uh, uh, important thing I can mention is there is no money involved here so people don't get fully concentrated on this because if uh, we are like web developers we are uh, really uh, good uh, uh, basic of uh, it uh, but uh, if we focus on this we can understand but if as there is no money involved we don't focus on it properly that's why we don't understand so i think it makes sense what i <laughs> tried to say very good points um, to to mention that the you know the daily operations of the training team and all of WordPress.org are in English, but there are definitely places that uh, folks who are fluent in other languages can contribute. So there's content creation in other languages, there's translation of existing mm -hmm. content in other languages. So that's those are really good points. Um, I want to also mention if anyone here has more questions about this and is not already in the wordpress.org Slack instance, please go ahead and join up. I'm gonna pop a link in the chat uh, of how to connect to a Slack account. Slack, if you're not familiar, is a chat app and the wordpress.org Slack is where a lot of the communication around the project takes place and we have uh, it's called a channel. There are different channels in Slack for different teams and different projects. And the training channel is where you are welcome to ask questions um, and sort of start this process uh, of getting involved. So you can check out the handbook page that I linked above, but you can also, if you want to talk with somebody before doing that mm -hmm. or even after you've done that and you're not already, not already in Slack, please uh, go ahead and join up. It's free, obviously, and, uh, and you can get the ball rolling to communicate with folks. All right. Yeah, if you, if you don't know anybody, you know, hated with the English language, you can connect with the, your local language on the Slack. I am sure somewhere, someone guides your local team available on the Slack. So no need to necessarily to talk with English in the English language. You can talk in the, your local language, just, you know, Google type the, your language and send on the Slack. Of course, you can quote the mentor from the, your local city. Yeah, good point. You can come in and say, you know, is there anyone, yeah. anyone here? Because, you know, I have experience when I started, you know, I hesitate to speak English as per the Mehul. But right now I can little bit speak English and I can understand English. So lots of guys, you know, facing this page. So if anybody, any question, you can feel free to join Slack and you can also put the comment on the, this meeting event below the comment box section so you can leave that message on there yeah and what i'll also do is put the links that i've popped here in the meeting on meetup.com as well i'm going to make a note yeah. to, to remember to do that uh, so that if you don't have a chance to copy them out of the chat here you can uh, look on meetup.com and we will i will put those links there all right so thank you everybody for joining today. I wanna to give a huge thanks to Sumit and Mohibul for joining me here. I know it's evening your time, so thank you for giving up a chunk of your, of your evening and personal time. And thank you to everyone for bearing with the technical issue. I still don't know why our meeting got cut off. Looks like someone logged into the same account uh, 
but I'm not sure why. So thanks for your patience there. Sometimes these things happen and um, yeah, we'll see you again at another, hopefully at another one of these online workshops and have a great rest of everybody's day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you everyone. And especially thank you, Kartin, to host this amazing event. And I hope to yeah. see you again.